It is all too common nowadays, friends, for politicians to claim to support Israel and the Jewish people in forums such as these. Yet when Israel is attacked for the umpteenth time because its enemies refuse to accept the right of the Jewish state to exist, that is the reason. These same politicians are quick to condemn Israel, to accuse it of war crimes, and to demand that it unilaterally suspend its right to self-defense. You will not hear that kind of doublespeak from our government ever. That is why, as was already mentioned under our government, when the United Nations Durban process against racism became a forum for the promotion of hatred, Canada was the first country in the world to withdraw from it. When, when Hamas formed the government of the Palestinian Authority, refusing to drop its objective to eradicate Israel and its people, Canada was the first country in the world to suspend ties and assistance to that government. When, when some at the Francophonie tried to impose a one-sided anti-Israeli resolution, Canada was the first to refuse to sign their declaration. And of course, we remain among the world's most vocal in opposition to not only the nuclear program of the government of Iran, but also to its malevolent anti-Israeli, anti-Jewish declarations.